so our next topic is advanced bill of material so in the previous topics we have seen the basics of bill of material and in this class today we'll see the advanced functionalities available in the bill of material so the topics that we're going to cover today they are phantom bomb and its functions coproducts byproducts discontinuation process item substitution multiple bomb variant bomb mass change of bombs and product structure browser so first of all we'll start with our first topic phantom assembly what is phantom assembly in bill of material the phantom assembly is assembly where we in one just say is assembly bomb and in assembly bomb we adding one phantom assembly so phantom assembly means that assembly does have another bomb but it's different from a normal bomb so what that means is here in the diagram you can see this phantom here this phantom is itself not a product however you can think it like a description only so for example if i show you the next slide just think uh, the assembly bomb of a bicycle so a bicycle requires like wheels handle and all other parts so here you can see the main bomb is for bicycle however the different bomb components we have are one is handle some other bomb components but here we have a bomb co bomb component called set of wheels set of wheels so set of wheels is basically not itself a physical product but just a description however this description does have a bomb underneath for example this bill of material has a component a material called front wheel assembly and another one called back wheel assembly so that means set of wheels is not a physical product however it's just a description only that we want to put in a in a assembly bomb so what we do is we will make this description as a phantom assembly so what phantom assembly means whenever the system will generate the requirements it will generate the requirements for all other component components like handle other parts and also the front wheel and uh, and the back wheel assembly but the phantom assembly component will requirement requirement will not be generated because this is a not a physical product this is just a description only okay so I'll repeat again phantom means it's just a description only it's not itself a physical product that means front wheel and back wheel we're not going to combine them and make one product like we would we used to do in the other bombs but here we're just entering a description only and we're putting it as a phantom assembly and it's not a physical product that means system will not be generating the requirements for this phantom item so it only the sub components or whatever the sub components of that phantom assembly are they for them the requirements will be generated like, like you can see here <coughs> let us see some theory about phantom assembly a phantom assembly is a logical group of material rather than a functional from the design point of view these materials are grouped together to form an assembly the components of a phantom assembly are grouped together to be built into assembly on the next level up and product structure from the product point of view these materials are not actually assembled to form a physical unit this is what i said it's not a physical unit it's just a description only <coughs> and the use of the phantom assembly is basically uh, tomorrow if say if i go back to the previous screen tomorrow if there is some change in the uh, bomb component so here you can just change the one component here say front wheel we're going to replace with another part 
with a new type of front wheel so we just need to replace the bomb here and it will replace everywhere else wherever this phantom assembly we are using so that's the phantom assembly and that's a use as i just said and how to put that in the in sap so there are two requirements for it first you need to mention it in the material master so in the material master you need to make the special uh, procurement key as 50 phantom assembly and also you need to mention it in the bomb item so let me show you how you can do it so if i open a material called say if I open say routing demo 2 material we need a component material so let me find a component material first so if I go to the bomb of this one say ABC123 is a bomb component so what we need to do is open one more screen in MM02 and open the bomb component this is not a good example let me find a different one say this one say routing demo material it has three different components however the last component is a phantom assembly so what I can do I can copy this open the material master go to MRP2 screen here procurement type well procurement type doesn't matter but just put um, leave it like that here in the special procurement you need to select 50 50 phantom assembly so if I select this so that's the first setting you need to do and if I save it There's a warning here just press enter another warning press enter so that's 50 means that's um, phantom assembly also you need to do the same setting in the bomb so here i'll open the bomb wherever this component is used double click on item 30 and here in the special procurement open that you need to enter 50 if I select 50 here that means system will be now considering this item as phantom assembly so system will think it like it's a phantom assembly so the requirements for this component will not be generated however whatever components is using the requirement for them will be generated so if I double click on this little uh, icon here it will take me to the bomb of the component so that's the bomb of the component so the requirements for the component will be generated but not for this level so that is your phantom assembly now we'll talk about co-products and by-products in bill of material so co-products and by-products are basically the products that are generated that are uh, manufactured as a part of the normal manufacturing so let me explain you this one again for example I'm making a uh, just say I'm making a finished product A so this finished product A has is using bomb components bombs that are that are used here they are bomb components first one is a b c d so these are the bomb components we're using to make a final product a so that means if i say there's a one-to-one -one assignment that means we need um, one piece of b one piece of c say two piece of d to make one piece of A so one piece required one of this component one of this component or probably two screws maybe for making